What's going on guys, GCDZ here, back with another Let's Talk. What's your favorite Lantern Core? Green, red, yellow, pink, indigo, black, white, orange, or maybe even possibly one of the strongest of them all, blue. Me, I've always fancied the Red Lanterns, Blood and Rage. When a Red Lantern can create constructs, they are feared by every other Red Lantern. So feared that their blood is in danger from other reds trying to feast on that blood that may be able to create deadly weapons with his or her imagination. Now why do I say the blue lantern are probably the most powerful? A blue lantern will become stronger when near a green lantern, also supercharging a green lantern wielder. A blue lantern also takes the power of a red lantern wielder away while around them, unless the red lantern has way too much rage. Now why am I specifically talking about these two Lantern Corps? Because they are both featured in the Red Lantern's Future's End. Ever since this one shot was announced, words cannot explain how much I wanted this one. What's not to like about the Red Lanterns? Especially when you have Red Lantern wielders that are human. Because they are usually the smartest of all Red Lanterns. Because usually they're brainless. And those humans that are featured are Roncor, aka Jack Moore of Earth, and our famous Guy Gardner. Yet, no more is Guy a Red Lantern, he is now a Blue Lantern. In the motion cover, we see Guy Gardner go from this raggedy, long-haired, evil-looking Red Lantern to a nice, clean, and clean-cut Blue Lantern. When I saw this, I really didn't know what to expect, but what they gave us was amazing. There were surprises in this one-shot that gave me those wide eyes. Now, I'm not sure if this comic connects with the actual Red Lantern comic series, because the last thing I read was Volume 4 Blood Brothers, which ends with issue number 26. I'm only getting the volumes because 35 because Red Lanterns is on 35 or 36 number issue, and that's a lot of money. But if it does or doesn't continue off, it was still a great one shot. So what was Red Lantern Features End about? Guy Gardner is currently a Blue Lantern, but lately in the original series he's been a Red Lantern after Hal Jordan sent him to spy on the Reds. As a Blue Lantern, another famous Red Lantern is following him around. Her name is Blees. Guy and Blees are on a mission to take out all Red Lanterns left. Why? Because right now, the reign of Jack Moore aka Roncor, or should I say King Roncor, is happening. Guy and B Blees must put an end to his reign. The reason they are taking out all the Red Lanterns is because King Roncor is killing all the Red Lanterns himself and wielding not only his, but all of those rings of those he's killed. With Guy and Blees taking out the Reds before King Roncor can, Guy helps those Red Lanterns escape the ring instead of killing them. Lantern fans know that a Red Lantern can't take off his or her ring once put on, otherwise it will kill them. However, a Blue Lantern can take it off them without it killing them, technically helping them out. When Guy and Blees finally confront King Roncor, there is nothing in the universe that will keep Blees from killing Roncor for revenge, and there is nothing in the universe to help stop Roncor from killing Blees and Guy than taking their rings to make himself even more powerful. However, you guys must read this one shot yourselves to know exactly what happens because I don't want to spoil everything. So the artwork in this comic is phenomenal, and I mean phenomenal. I can tell that this one shot was not put together in a matter of days. It looks like a lot of time and effort was put into it. The contrast of the suits, background, etc. is probably the key factor in the beauty of the artwork. The Red Lanterns always had this darkness feel to it, but this one shot really took it to the next level. The darkness themes tends to focus on King Roncor. That's where we get the darkness theme from. In this one shot, he's got this real sinister look to him. The dark red crown, evil smile and eyes. And the best part? The armor slash robe of red lantern rings of those he's killed. I mean, he's wearing all the rings that he's killed, all the red rings, as a robe, a king robe, which is awesome. Absolutely amazing idea that the authors put together to turn one of the most reasonable red lanterns, which is Roncor, into an ultimate red dictator. Now every being fears Roncor now. I thought that he had a security guard constructs flying in space, patrolling the universe was really cool. Even Blees was shocked that he was able to do that. King Roncor even has a palace construct that he chills in. How cool is that? Now that he wields all those rings, he's just that powerful. Then more than anybody can imagine. Another character they really focused on was Guy Gardner. 
and the new abilities he has as he wields the Blue Lantern Ring. Being able to take the rings off the Red Lanterns to not just help them be free or of the raid, but to help save them from King Roncor taking their rings for himself and killing them in the process. What else can Guy do with this new color? We also see him using his power to suppress the Red Ring. Also him creating constructs so easily that he doesn't even have to look at his opponents. Like I said, the way the authors stressed their powers and the artwork behind everything was so well done. What else I loved about Guy's character was that he never saw this side of him. Guy being a Green Lantern and even being a Red Lantern had a common factor. He always had a sarcastic personality. He was like the Robert Downey Jr. of the Avengers, but in the Green Lanterns. Somewhat of an asshole too. But him being a Blue Lantern changed who he is inside. No more sarcasm. He is actually starting to sound like a hero now. Words of wisdom to be more exact. It's like this. He's the Saint Walker now, aka the Blue Lantern Quarter leader, if you didn't know who that is. It's like he has Saint Walker's soul inside of him now. And who doesn't like Saint Walker? Saint Gardner? Yeah, that's right, Saint Gardner. Guy Gardner even tells Blees and shows her all the Lantern Corps rings that he wielded before. And tells out of all the Lantern Corps that he's been in, out of all of the different types of emotions he's wielded, whether it being will, fear, rage, compassion, and even love, which to him was, and quote, a weird couple of months. Nothing compared to the moment when he finally put on the blue ring of hope on his finger. The power of hope changed him somehow, but he doesn't really explain how. He sort of explains that when you put the blue ring on, it shows you your future, which obviously cautions you about the path you choose to go down. He's even used an ability to show others their future path. Now, there's not really that much action in this comic, pretty much only when King Roncor is confronted by Guy Gardner and Blees. Other than that, not much action at all, so I thought they could have worked a little better on that. Now one thing I couldn't quite figure out was, is there something going on between Guy Gardner and Blees? I was seeing a little bit of sparks going on between them, like holding each other's hands at one point while a little bit of words were being given to each other, like, I don't know what I would do without you. Like I said, I'm not all the way caught up with the actual Red Lanterns comic series, still waiting on Volume 5, Red Daughter of Krypton. So anyway, if you love a great story, lovely artwork, famous characters, and especially a great story, I definitely recommend the Red Lantern Future Zen one-shot. You might like it so much that you just might go a step further and buy the actual Red Lantern story. I give this one-shot probably a rating of 9.5 out of 10. I just feel that there just needed to be a little bit more action. And one thing I really loved was how if King Roncor is like this now. Before, like I said, he was probably the most reasonable Red Lantern out there, and now he's become that Red Dictator. I kind of loved how I saw this guy Roncor, which was probably my favorite out of all the Red Lanterns in the actual Red Lantern series. I loved how they changed him to this crazy dictator guy. I mean, I really thought like that Roncor and Guy Garner teaming up would change the Red Lanterns forever, as in making them not so rageful, but into reasonable people like they are. But now I see Roncor like this, and it's good to see a nice new perspective of Roncor as they have given Guy Gardner a new perspective when he wields that blue ring. Well, thanks guys for watching. Tune in next time for another Let's Talk, and I'll see you soon. Later, dudes.